A string of death threats has a Beloit man on edge tonight. The man who identifies as transgender says the threats have escalated over the past month. Emily Ness spoke to him about hatred he has experienced and has you covered on how police and his apartment are responding. It's always a fear uh, since I came out as transgender that I may lose my life. That fear grew even more real for Ezra Johnson when he walked outside his Beloit apartment and found flyers stuck to the windshield of every car in the parking lot. On them was his old name and picture along with the caption, wanted dead or alive. I gathered all of them up and threw them away because I just couldn't get myself to hold on to it. Johnson says that incident outside happened at the start of the month. And harassment has since escalated to include harassment inside his apartment, including more hateful flyers left in his mailroom. Outing me as transgender, calling me a monster, calling me the next school shooter, and offering a cash reward for my body to be turned in. The harassment came to a head when the word die was spray painted on the wall of his patio. My little safe haven turned into like a self-contained prison. With the encouragement of loved ones, Johnson filed a police report and brought the harassment to his apartment's attention. However, without security cameras at the apartment, he says there is little evidence to go off of. I don't know if it's just one person or if it's a group. Police tell me they are investigating the incident, but do not have any suspects yet. While apartment management told me they painted over the hateful graffiti and are glad Johnson called the police. The violence and hate has been increasing to members of the LGBTQ community and especially our trans family members. In the meantime, friends like Liz Tinder are lifting Ezra up. Ezra is amazing. He has been such an inspiration to the LGBTQ community. A GoFundMe has been started to help him achieve his goal of owning a tiny home on wheels. Beyond being a safe place to stay, Johnson says it would allow him to travel across the country and help communities impacted by tragedies. His ultimate dream. I want to get a master's and become like a licensed uh, social worker and help people. Johnson hopes sharing his story will help raise awareness about the hatred LGBTQ plus members experience and show he is not backing down. There needs to be a change. Emily Ness for 27 News. Johnson did install a small security camera of his own. Anyone with information about this case should contact police. You can donate to Johnson's GoFundMe on our website, WKOW.com.